The Naturals are entering their fifth season. While their original opening day was in 2008, the idea of professional sports in Northwest Arkansas was in development long before that. The first concept of minor league baseball was in 1999. The Northwest Arkansas Council had done a study we call the Hillwood Study, and it identified professional sports as being a potential venue for Northwest Arkansas. Before the Naturals, we had had some conversation with a couple other uh, teams and team owners about the possibility uh, of a team coming to Springdale. And through the course of that process, I'm sitting in the desk one day and the phone rings. It was a gentleman named John Dandies and said he had been in contact with the Texas League and understood that we had an interest perhaps in affiliated baseball. When we had the, the idea that we really could attract a, a affiliated double A team here, then we knew we had to have a nice ballpark. Which was a lot easier said than done. In order to build what would become Arvest Ballpark, the Springdale residents would have to approve a $50 million proposal. The big issue was, what's a ballpark going to cost and how are we going to pay for it? Then ultimately we put it to the voters and uh, that was a, the uh, moment of truth and it was a close vote. $50 million proposal approved by the voters by 13 votes. If seven of those 13 had voted against it, we lost. Those seven people spent $50 million. With funding for the ballpark now approved, the new challenge became building the facility in time for opening day 2008, which was less than a year away. We set an aggressive timeline to build this building. We had chosen uh, HOK, which uh, is an athletic architectural firm out of Kansas City, and that was a blessing because they can do things in a hurry. The fact that this ballpark could be built in 264 days or whatever the number was, was is absolutely phenomenal and it was a tremendous amount of teamwork that took place. The final result of that teamwork was on display April 10th, 2008 when the Naturals played their first ever home game. Opening night was very electric. I think the, the, the one thing everybody worried about was the traffic and the parking and getting here. The roads were narrow and people were showing up right at the last minute and the, the concession lines were long. But there was an electricity, and you look at the, the overhead aerial photos from that night, and, and you see just how big a crowd it is. And we've had great crowds, too, but that first night was special. And even though everything wasn't perfect, I don't know if any night's been as good as that first night. Governor and I were standing in line to do our first pitch. I said, I'm going to stand on top of the mound, and I'm going to throw a strike. And he said, go for it. Well, I did both of those things out of a pure miracle. And... He went out there and he pitched, he threw it about 20 feet in front of the mound. And he came back and I called him a wimp and he said he knew it. So anyway, it was a fun day. That level of fun mixed with the entertainment of professional baseball has been what's defined the Naturals over the years. With almost 300 games played at Arvest Ballpark, the venue has played host to many memories. I'll always remember the debuts of Keela and Eric. Not many teams can have that kind of a story to tell when, when these heralded players show up and immediately, first time to the plate, send the ball out of the air. Seems like, uh, was it two years ago, that we just didn't lose at home? We not only had a great environment going here, but we had the winningest team. And it really started to gather a lot of excitement in the, uh, in the community. I mean, people really... Uh, you know, got a hold of the team. The first time I saw Salvador Perez stand up behind that plate, I thought, that dude's going somewhere. And I saw him pick off a guy on first base, throwing the ball behind a left-hand batter, standing at the plate. And, and he threw the guy out for it, and the guy even knew the ball was coming. With the fifth season of Naturals Baseball about to get started, those responsible for bringing the team here can look back at what they worked for, see what they accomplished, and know they made a positive difference in not only Springdale, but all of Northwest Arkansas. And I think every year it just becomes more part of, uh, of Northwest Arkansas, of our community. Uh, people, uh, you know, look forward to the games. There's not a better thing to do with your money and your time on a summer night in Northwest Arkansas than to go to a baseball game at our best ballpark. There's just not. I feel we were extremely lucky to have the combination and uh, timing, economy, and the individuals involved 
that could get it done at that point in time. The people most responsible for bringing this ballpark here are the voters of Springdale, Arkansas. And I still get those chills when you walk across here about look what this community really accomplished. And, and this is such a great asset.